good kitten internet. Uh, just wanted to show you something that I had noticed. All right, so between these uh, recordings, uh, the only thing that I actually do is actually record everybody's level and XP. So I had noticed something, and let me unequip to show you really fast. Um, so Kazin and Mei have the exact same stats, except that Mei is a full level lower than Kazin. Kazin is really that bad of a character. <laughs> right now. Ugh, I mean, main Shining Force 2 Kazin is normally not that great of a character, but come on. Ugh. Um, so, if anybody dies, I hope it's Kazin. Let's go ahead and re-equip that power ring. Man, I wish I could rearrange my members of my party. Because... It me whoever's last in the party ends up stuck in a corner, basically. Unless if there's special movement. Uh, there's a couple of battles where an NPC actually moves. And there's one battle in particular that you get. The last character of your party gets booted out, which is the reason why in that battle usually everybody just egresses immediately. Anyway, um, I really hate this battle. This is the battle against... Well, you'll see in a moment. So cave battles always have this type of circle around it. Um, hold on, let me. Capture cursor so I can show you. See, so this little linked radius, um, that's that happens every cave battle. So you only see basically two tiles around you. You can move around so you can see everything, but it's just it's annoying in my mind. And I don't like being annoyed like that. I thought about trying to find the transparency layer, or the black layer and disabling it, but eh, that's kind of cheating. But yes, this is a hobgoblin battle. The hobgoblin itself isn't actually that bad. There's a hobgoblin. Home. And the one just wants you to stay forever and ever. Um, so the Hobgoblin itself is actually not the problem with this battle. The Hobgoblin has a lot of defense and agility. It's a very agile tank. But the problem isn't the Hobgoblin. The hob problem are all the Dark Dwarves who have replaced Goblins at this point. Dark Dwarves have a really high attack. 32 attack. It's, uh, what, the vampire bats are the only thing that have higher attack? No, I have the same attack. But vampire bats are squishy. Dark dwarves are less squishy. And all of this terrain is 15% or 30% terrain effect. So it's really difficult to kill things. Um, oh, let me go around the map. So the dark dwarf here. Another dark dwarf and hunter goblin. So... These three will trigger at the same time, and I believe they trigger once I get beyond that. Those two points. Um, or alternately, here. Something like that. What is it, Isun? Beyond that, there's a bit of a gap. There's a witch and a hunter goblin, which is at this point I'm not concerned about. Hunter goblins are just annoying more than anything. Vampire bats, which are still very lethal. Another witch. Hobgoblin. And then further out here are two more vampire bats. So you can actually see the full map. If you go to map, it's a giant question mark. Which is why uh, the lighting effect is really obnoxious. Moving everybody up. Let's take this in. I want May up 
Did I actually remember to read the thing? Yes, I did. Okay. So, um, I wanted to show you what it looks like to use the power ring. So it has an area of effect of, or it has a range of three, which is really nice. I didn't remember that it had range three. I thought it was range two. So I will actually do it from here because I want it on Sarah. So use the power ring. Attack! Aha! Sarah's attack was boosted by six. That's all it does. And it works just like boost in how long it lasts, and it gives the wearer five XP. It's a good way of leveling somebody up. There's later on a protect ring, which is boost as an item. Um, those are basically the best items in the game because they can be worn by anybody and you can use them to gain XP. So the characters who don't actually have the boost spell can use the item. Unfortunately, um, let's go ahead and wake them up. Um, unfortunately, they can break, and each stage of breaking will cost more to repair. So I think initially it's like cracked, then smoking, then on fire, then it just burns away and just is destroyed permanently. So you have to watch out when you use those items. go run up right now and go attack, but I think that's probably a bad idea. I'm going to actually just stay put. So I've woken them up. They should walk closer, that way I can have more than one on each at a time. Because this is a very lethal battle. I'm actually quite concerned about this battle. Oh. Should we look my new arrows somewhat soon? Which will be nice. Arrow Force can really use more arrows. Boink. May? I could really have May go right about now. Kitty going is okay too, but I want May to go. May. You should be able to kill. Yeah, see, the power ring helps quite a bit with damage. And May needs the XP because May's the lowest level of the controllable characters at the moment. I still need to figure out how I'm going to end up. Ah, uh, that's fine. Got us boosted. Um. Two, two damage. Well, two attacks. So four damage total. That's still fine. Um. Still need to figure out the best way to level up Peter when I'm done. Peter's still going to be level 9 by the time I get control of him. Yeah. Let's see, damage I'm a little bit of trouble with where I placed. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. So, Sarah's boosted in both ways at once, so it's a much higher chance of a second attack, much higher chance of a crit, and also doing extra damage. So that was a bit of a risk, but the risk paid off. Red Brain over here is going to go attack the Hunter Goblin. Awesome. What the world are my cats doing? One moment, I will be right back. Oh, wait, that means I'm gonna have to edit the video if I do that. You yeah, soon? <sighs> Whatever, it's only one cat out, so I don't know what's going on. Good blast! Um, John has been hit. I could have just healed John. That's probably better. I'd rather keep everybody fully healed, and I think this actually gives me a more XP ugly enough. So, ooh, nice friend. Um, so normally what I end up doing in this game 
And when it comes to archers, it's that I surround them with melee characters and then make sure that nobody's nearby them, because then they can't attack. And they're sitting around spinning their thumbs, basically. Spinning their thumbs? Twirling their thumbs, that's the correct term. ones, although it looks like the bats are going to be coming. So maybe I just want to spread out a bit over here. I need to get out of that little narrow area though. Because this is bad news. Yeah, Kiwi's just gonna go up the stupid pipe. Closer, I'm going to get frozen. That's okay. You get thwapped in the face instead, which is not great on Kazin, but witches aren't that strong in melee at this point. I'm more concerned about that. Just received a oh text message from my vet. Um, let's see. No, six move it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you're gonna be attacking next turn. Unless if I don't move. Shut up, devices. Let's go ahead and freeze the witch out. I think this does less damage though. Yeah. I should have just blazed instead. This is that archer. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can't attack Bowie if Bowie's attacking the witch. From that side, at least. I'm still getting decent XP for off of the witch. Which is strange, but whatever. Sarah, as usual, is going to be my target. And stab the witch in the spleen. Didn't get that much XP because of how low level the witch is. I probably should have waited. Yeah, I could have waited. Oh. Go ahead and heal the Zen. I don't think I'm in range of Blaze at this point. Hopefully not, at least. We'll find out, I guess. Blaze on Sarah is not that bad. Ooh, that was a fairly heavy attack for Blaze. A little concerning. Guess the Hunter Goblin hasn't gone yet. Are you going to kill my Sarah? No, okay. She's fine. Okay, that's not too bad. So first off, you're gonna die. Thirteen Bowie, yay! Ooh, MP increase. No extra spell yet, though. That's kind of expected. Use the Goblin. I mean, Jaha is so high level, he's not getting much in the way of XP off of us. Yeah, one XP. I'm just reducing the amount of hit points they have at this point. Neither one of them are lethal to me. 
but I want that vampire bat out of the way. Really? As I was saying, I want that vampire bat out of the way. range. My kingdom for promoted archers, God's damn it. So, promoted archers, or specifically the weapons that promoted archers use, have three range, and it's two to three range instead of two to two range. So, I can hit further, and this clumping problem isn't as big of a deal. did 7 damage, for reference. May we'll do damage momentarily. First off, let's heal Sarah up, because that scares me. I don't want Sarah to die. There's one of my favorite characters. And the other character is the one that she looks at, like, so, you know. And Bowie's getting blazed. See, this is the type of thing that brick brains are meant for, because they always have... They're always stronger, or have more hit points than normal. Uh, how close am I to anything else? I'm not. Okay. Let's go ahead and have May rotate out then. So, Kazin did 7 damage. And May did 13. So you can see how this is a little variable, it's not just attack minus defense. May's level 12 now, yay. Everything increasing by 1, so now May is strictly better than Kazin. And Peter finally gets him. Alright, how many more of those do I have? I can count. There's another 420 blazed out there. I'm gonna get attacked by both of them if I do that. That sounds like a bad idea. That also, that sounds like a worse idea. Let's go ahead and attack from the bottom. Maybe I'll get lucky and double attack. Oh. Boost! So the two of them might get 420 blazed, but that would be about it. Still concerned about that vampire bat. Yep. They're both getting blazed. Ugh. So the bullies hurt pretty bad now. Chester's now injured. And I still only have one healer. To be fair, I normally only have one healer at this point of the game, but still. Yep, you're gonna hit Sarah with freeze. That hurts. Kimi, you need to heal Bowie badly, just in case if one of them gets a double attack. Bowie's back up. That's good. Okay. Here's what I need to count. Your movement is five. One, two, three. Four or five. Okay. So I can get closer. Admittedly, moving there doesn't really help much. Peter will be continuing to be useless. Let's go ahead and boost again. Oh, I should have used a healing item instead. Oh. I'm sure this will be fine. Let's 
There's five movement. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, you're staying up there. I don't want to be hit by the hot combo right now. Sarah, Sarah's going to go stab the witch. I think May can just finish off that witch. Kiwi gets to go again. You are going to heal one Chester. Three heals left on Kiwi. I'm fine, probably. Chester, you're going to... Kill the vampire bat. That makes more sense to me. Chester's going to end up being highest level archer, isn't he? Okay, you're going to move closer, asterisk. Yeah, the stairs are the only land effect zero, which is fine. And that should kill the witch. Yeah, unless the witch dodged. May gets 35. Gots. May gots the 35 XP. Okay, so here's what I would like to do. I'd like to get the hobgoblin in one of these two spots so I can have somebody archer across. In fact, this spot would be ideal. So then I can archer from there and archer from down here, keeping my archers safe and secure. Uh, the other option is luring them out here where it's wide open. Usual. You are actually going to move and heal. This is risky, but I need target. Oh crap. I was not counting on boost expiring that fast. And I don't have a way of boosting her. John is going to have to go around there. Somebody boosted, that's even better. Slade can't reach. I think I'm actually going to have Bowie heal himself, because I think his boost is expiring this turn. And that would hurt. Yep, I was correct. That would hurt to get attacked again. Freeze, sucker! Do I even get good XP for this or am I too high level? I don't know. Yeah, it's decent. I'm probably equal level. That's why I heal. Yep. I was correct in healing. I feel good about that. Kiwi's 14. Ooh, plus 2 MP. That's always nice. 
All right. Sarah, I think Sarah's just gonna finish her off. Um, it's possible that May could go again. What are my levels like? Um, May, Slade, and Kazin are all level 12. I think I'm actually going to have Sarah stay still. Slade killing, that would be acceptable. Goblin dead by exact amount. And Slade gained max XP. Alright. That could have been horrible. Just end the battle embedded in a wall. So I could have technically searched this in battle, in theory. I kind of want to find out if I could. So I'll probably go back after this video and see if I can actually do that. Ah, oh, that's where the silver tank is. Okay, so that's a promotion item for an archer into a brass gunner. Even though it's a silver tank, don't ask. Um, that's useful because I have a lot of archers, and I'm going to need one of them promoted to a brass gunner. Okay, screw that noise. And we are out of the cave. We are heading to the city of Beto, which... I want to say I can actually do limited shopping here initially. Let's find out. Welcome to Beto. Centaurs live here. How did you come to- Oh, sorry, it's Polka Village, not Beto. Through the cave, nobody has come to this village since- Oh, you defeated that hobgoblin? Wow! Now we can use the tunnel to travel between Polka and the wilderness area. Thank you, Mr. Plot. Exposition. This is assuming, Mr. I don't have the headphones on, so I can't hear the audio. No, nobody's dead. I don't need this. I'm trying to save. Sorry, not paying attention. I'm also leaning back and relaxing. Because today's Sunday. I want to relax. Yep, the light allows me to resume my adventure. Yes, I want to resume. I'm actually less than half an hour, so I'm going to merge this with the next video, or the next battle. Assuming I don't spend too long doing things. Young men these days are lucky. I wish I was young again. <laughs> so that is May's portrait, but the character is a Gerhalt, who's a beast man, uh, who promotes to a wolf baron. Um, basically, werewolf. But just the picture with the... <laughs> I think this needs to be a screenshot. Is there a screenshot button? Or should I just take a normal screenshot? Save screenshot. Okay. So yes, that is the next character that's going to be added to my group, if I remember correctly. Wonderful hair, huh? Okay. Go under here. Clank, clank. All our weapons are made by me, but who uses them in this peaceful country? There's nothing wrong anywhere. What are you talking about? Protect milk, thank you. I really need the defense on Bowie right now. I'm just using it right now. Don't care. On Bowie. By two. Dang it. So it's technically one to five, I want to say, or is it two to five? I already talked to you. Are you the I like trees guy? Nope. Turn me over. Okay. Push harder! Good, good, push! Thunk! <laughs> Sorry, I had to test you. I'm happy to meet you. He must like you. Oh no, I can't tell you who he is. See you later. Oh, he's capitalized, so that obviously means a character named T, right? No. Um, that comes up past the midpoint of the game, actually. A very friendly person. Totally friendly. No reason to be concerned. Right. What's up, my boy? Right. What do you have? You've got an upgrade for Bowie, so absolutely. 
Oh, I need to injure advantage first. Let's go ahead and sell the silver tank for now. Also sell the mithril. I have another piece of mithril hanging around. Yeah, so I spend, I gain 2250 and I would have to spend 3000 So I'm basically spending 750 gold to get this out of my inventory. It is totally worth doing. Much more worth it for the mithril, though. Um, I'm doing slightly more inventory management because May. I'm going to give the angel wing to. I'm actually going to give it to Chester. Yeah, I'll give the angel wing to Chester. And then give the medical herb to Sarah. Now let's go ahead and talk. That way I can do um, purchasing more easily. And I don't think they're going to have upgrades anyway, but mm, it's a nice upgrade. Ah, it suits you. Uh, bronze Rod, that's an upgrade for my mages. I mean, if I didn't have tons of money, I wouldn't be buying the Bronze Rods because it's probably not worth it. They have a silver will attack, I'm barely ever going to attack. The Power Stick's probably the sole exception. Yep, those are still the same. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the excess items. Yeah, I got it. So, as you can tell, there's no armor in this game. Um, there was armor in Shining in the Darkness, but there's no armor in this game. Get rid of the middle sword. And let's go ahead and restock on items. I'm still buying a healing seed. Because it's not really worth buying anything else. But, I think I'm going to replace the medical herbs at this point. So, I'm giving this to anybody- I probably didn't give it to him since he actually has a healing drop. I'm giving this to anybody who still has a healing herb. So, Slade's the only one left with a healing herb. Which I need to give to somebody. I love how when I, uh, when they, when I'm leaving the shop, the shopkeeper's picture pivots. Uh, give the medical herb to, I don't care, Peter, sure. So I'm not going to sell the medical herbs yet. I'll probably sell it at the next shop where I need to buy things at. Good. And I know the next battle coming up, which is annoying, and will be triggering very soon. Very soon, I can speak this way. Yeah, friendship. Vulcanon. Not aware, but Vulcanon has become quite irritated. Like that. It's getting worse. What's wrong, you ask? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that volcano erupted! It's an evil omen. Funk. Oh! The beastman checks the boy. There goes that narrator again. Good heavens, he's badly injured! Pip pip! Mayor! What's all this noise? Pip pip. Mayor, a boy from the mountain is seriously injured. What? Gotta love the acting. 
his eyes are seriously damaged. He must have been caught in the eruption. He needs prompt treatment. Oh, yes, bring him to my house. Oh. He came down from the mountain. It's not from Polka or Beddo. Beddo is where I'm going, that's why I got them mixed up. Where did he come from? This is serious. I hope he survives the night. Oh, stop. No, I don't want to see. My head aches. That is a very major NPC for reference. So, here's the next battle. Who are they? Yep. Looking for something. This is where things get bad. He's not here. Not under the cliff. There are marks of a battle here and there. Against the birdmen of Beto? Could be. See those volcanic rocks? Like the ones right next to you. Nobody but Vulcanon can do that. He's never been killed. He's never before killed Birdman, but. Who's that? Stupid Polka kids. Polkan people are cowards that live in peace. They shall never return alive. Okay, so now Hobgoblins are the standard enemy. Hobgoblins all over the place. We are stealing, still dealing with regular witches, although I think this might be the last battle that we have regular witches. Hobgoblins, and now we have Death Monks. You'll notice that this is very similar to uh, our Kiwi, in that they have Heal and Blast. It's a hint as to what they can do in the future. And normally in the game you would have Sarah, who is also somebody who has Heal and Blast. And I think Sarah at this point has Detox. Here's the boss and the one I'm the most concerned about. This Death Archer is nasty. It's very high agility, high defense, and very high attack for a ranged unit. The Death Monks have high attack, but they're melee, and they have low defense, so they're a bit squishy. And also, up in the sky, is the Evil Cloud. The Evil Cloud has lots and lots of attack. It's also somewhat hard to hit, and has a decent amount of hit points, but they are melee. I can deal with melee. So, now we're going up the mountain. This is what I would do if I didn't care about Bowie's life. If the unit was there instead, I would totally attack from here, but nope. Okay. Your movement is six, was it? Dang it. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So, here is safe. Who's safe anyway? I want to talk to them, basically. Also, nobody is using AoE attacks here, so I don't need to worry about formation as much. Uh, Blast 1 is actually really weak. Their normal attack is better. Freeze 1 is the most powerful attack that I'm dealing with, and that's not powerful. Let's go ahead and boost as many people as possible, because obviously Jahai needs more experience. But I need Peter being agile. HP 1, MP 2. Do I get a new spell? Nope. That's okay. Levi is successfully taught. So they have 5 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They still can't reach Bowie. In fact, these are the only spots that they threaten. So I like that. Okay. So. Two, three, four, five. Here is safe. Here is where I'm moving though, because Sarah is no, Sarah's not boosted. Never mind. Slade's boosted, but. Slightly closer. I've got time. I can be a 
little slower about this than normal because there's nobody with area of effect attacks, and that's usually my problem in this. Besides, Peter's probably just gonna fly over and get killed. That's kind of his job, right? Actually thinking about things. I'm scared to get boost. You're boosted. You're not boosted. Boost! That's three more for the boost, so that's an extra 15 XP. And more importantly, boosting. Because I'm going to get it. I could just go over here. I don't think that's a wise move yet. I'm going to stay put. I want them to get closer first. Looks like Hobgoblin in it. And Death Ugh. Just come on over already. Thank you. The other one still needs to go. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the other one can still reach there. Okay, now I can go deal with things. Just move in and out of the way. Okay, you're going to shoot onto the stairs. Why is there a terrain effect 15 on the stairs? Is that actually right? XP. Nice. That almost not going to be doing much this turn. Yeah, it's land effect zero. Whatever. Stabity the goblin. Once more. Nobody's hurt. Over level two. Shoot the goblin. No. I could have moved Chester over to the stairs and gotten a second person to attack, but I'm a little concerned that I'm. Since the stairs has no terrain effect on it, I'm concerned that I'd get squished. Unfortunately, it means I'm only getting one attack instead of two. You're fine. You can even attack. And you can survive a second attack even. Well, I needed somebody to get healed anyway. I believe that's death for you. Yeah. And he's level 13. Every stat increased by one again. Are you almost the power of Slade at this point? You're going to beat Sarah upside the head for one. Sarah, are you gonna counterattack? No. One. Out of curiosity. So. Yep. You are very similar to Slade in the stats right now. Because uh, then you're not useful because of how far back you are. I should have been a little more patient. Oh well. Soften a witch. I said soften, don't kill. Uh, no, I'm not going to attack again. You've got five, so one, two, three, four, five. Yep, where I'm at is perfectly fine. Boost on! This is gonna be a long one. 
because this is a fairly long battle. But the previous one was a short battle. Motor archers are called snipers or snip. Yeah, your stats are also going up by one every time. I do like how you actually get to see the weapons on the characters. Mostly. There's a couple of glitches for fairly obvious reasons. You'll see why later on. Oh, I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. Um, you've been boosted, and you actually have decent defense, I think. Wait, no, you're the squishy glass cannon. I'm um, an idiot. Alright. Yeah, you only have 15 defense, and that's boosted. Well, at least you're still boosted, but this is gonna hurt. Moving my archers as fast as I can. I should have been more patient like I was trying to do, but for some reason in this game, I'm always impatient. More boost. Like I said, Jaws' job at this point is boosting and occasionally weakening things. That's about it until Jaha gets better spells. Which is fine. That's a really good roll for Taha, to be honest. Thump. Uh, am I gonna go with Hobgoblin first? Yes, I am. Goodbye, Gabo. Gotta make sound effects with my mouth, of course. Alright, so Slain. This is the same level as the Hobgoblins now. Which means Death Monks are higher level. Oh yeah, what's the Death Monk's movement? I want to say it's high. Six. I think these have reduced movement on them anyway, so I don't even think they can reach here, but that's the movement range. Five, six, yeah, I'm fine with my place, so let's go ahead and spread out a bit. Let people catch up. Probably form a wall. Thank you, Andrew. That's sort of technically injured, as in, I gained more extra max HP, but... Nope. Nobody's injured. Again. Another phone call. Oops. They can go to voicemail for because I don't know who they are. It's probably somebody from work. It doesn't matter, I'm not on call this weekend. Hold on a moment. They hung up on me. I must have not caught it fast enough. Which means there'll be a voicemail. But I will see the voicemail in a bit. Okay. As I was doing before I was rudely interrupted. Yeah, there's definitely a terrain effect going on. On the craters. Peter will just sit around and do nothing as usual. There's the voicemail. One moment. Well, now I'm definitely going to need to edit this video due to the, you know, five minutes of me dealing with my online grocery order. Uh, so I order groceries online whenever I have a large order because I carry things on my back. So if it's physically large, as in heavy or bulky, then I tend to order online. In this case, I'm ordering online not because it's heavy, but because it's massive. Um, Every so often I make a gigantic order of 
chicken because that's the primary meat that I consume. And it's the line of archers. And, um, what was I saying? Oh, um, I have a giant chest freezer so I can. Yep, you're gonna blast because then that's fine. Blast only does six damage, it's perfectly fine. Let's make things simple. Uh, anyway, uh, I order large quantities of chicken at a time because I have a giant chest freezer and I just fill it with chicken and then use it for the next six to eight months. Works well enough for me, especially since I'm on foot and I go through a lot of chicken since I have a relatively high protein, low carb diet. Anyway, back to Archer Force 2. Six, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. I would be fine moving all the way up here. Oof. Oof. All of archers, and I don't use any of them. Uh, <coughs> I don't want the death monk to stay around because they're just going to heal themselves constantly. But yeah, I guess that is actually the first enemy in the game that has healing. Um, so the way the AI handles healing is dumb. Really dumb. I was actually half expecting when Wreck was telling me that this game was going to be trolling me, I was half expecting Peter to be a healer. Um, the way the AI handles healing is basically, it will always use the highest level spell unless it doesn't have enough spell points. So heal 2 is identical to heal 1 except for the range. Um, so there's no reason to use heal 2 on yourself. You should always use heal 1. The game doesn't agree with that. It's a very simplistic AI. As I was saying, it's a very simplistic AI, which means that it just goes, Oh, I should heal. Use maximum power of spell. Or, oh, I should attack. Use maximum power of spell. It will always use the maximum power of any spell it has available. This looks like a bad idea. Who's injured? I don't think anybody's injured right now. Peter's being as usual. This is less of a dumb idea, because I'm on a high, high land effect area, blocking off, and you, one, two, three, four, five, Ugh, you actually could blast me. Nope, I'm going to stay put. Push the side, which will only hit two or three, but that's okay. Or none? It hit me. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and... Everybody stay put. There's no area of effects pills. I don't need to worry about that. Are you in range? Two, three, four. Yeah, you are. Move you back. You are squishy. You are squishy. You are not squishy, but that's okay. I'm still going back. Oh, you actually... Yeah, you were just barely in range. But now you can go punch me in the face. Please don't die. Ow! No double heavy attack, please. Okay, I'm fine. So May is my healing target now. Hi, May. If this is a good idea. I don't want May to die because May's one of my better archers, but I also don't want that death one to live. And both of them have recently gone, so I should be okay. Snap. Snap. Nice. And Sarah's level 14. Yay. Oh, 
was a kind of crappy level up, but still yay. Um, Jonathan, you're going to heal. Okay. I know that's usually Kiwi's job, but I don't want Jaha to use anything right now. I don't want Jaha to actually attack anything. Okay, by going here, I block the Hobgoblin off, not to mention Hobgoblin's gonna die. Uh, that's fine. But he was only level 14, eh, 13 anyway. Plus two agility. Nice. Okay, I guess May is gonna finish off the Death Monk. That was not expected, but that's okay. Ooh, crit two. Nice. Good job. Okay, so what do I even have left? One, two, three, four. So, if I remember correctly, this Death Monk tends to stay next to this Death Archer. So I'm actually thinking about going down below and around. Just so I, one, get the maximum amount of XP possible, but more importantly, two, don't get ambushed. Oh yeah, and the Evil Cloud. Can't forget about the Evil Cloud. They are awake though, that's the one downside. Okay, Kiwi, you're going to just start healing people for no reason because you have way too much MP right now. And healers need care and feeding. Peter is going to sit around and do nothing as usual. Kind of tempted to just take out the witch from here. I'm not going to. There should be fine. I mean, I can heal a sick now. If she's leveled up enough. Uh -huh. Might as well. That'll work. Yep, they're just like laying up there. Evil Cloud's going to eventually come down and try to kill us all. How's that for a phrase for any other game? The Evil Cloud will eventually come down and kill us all. Okay. Just trying to make sure I give enough space to get people down there. It's like poor man can barely reach the end of the stairs. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Sounds like a bad idea. This, on the other hand, sounds like a good idea. Nope. You are still weak. Yep, I have wakened them. I'm gonna come down and hit Chester. Oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? No double attack. <sighs> okay. The problem with lower levels is that I have so few hit points, I can only take one hit. Okay, I just need to take out that hobgoblin before it goes again. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. Although it did choose a spot that's going to be really hard for me to hit. Not that hard. There we go. Got those taken out, probably. Ah, oh, damn it, Kazan. You are starting to get a little too low level. This is a problem. See, if the AI was smart, it would have moved. Well, it doesn't really matter that much. Move back, I guess. Okay. You move. Two, three, four, five. 
five. Yep, you are just going to run. Because I do not want to deal with flying thing. Use healing drop on Chester. It's a bit of a waste, but I don't want the gobbo to go again. Without um, being healed. Turned out to be unnecessary anyway, but still. It's fine. Hmm. A little concerned about Kazin, because not only is he lower stats, he's starting to fall off level wise. know that uh, Bowie needs healing, but eh. It's fine. You're gonna go facing back up there again. Faster okay. moving forward slightly. You're just moving up. Interesting. You want to merge with me. One, two, three, four, five. Six to there. I'm gonna give them a target again. But that target's not gonna be Bowie, because Bowie's quite hurt at this point. The target will be Sarah. They use heal one? They never use heal one! I've just gone over how they never use it. Wow. That's new. I don't remember what I've ever had before. Oh, that's okay. I too can use heal one. So my healers glow because they're happy fairies and not evil fairies. down. Free Sarah. Take nine. Oh, eight. Not even nine. Peter will continue being useless. Bowie will Hassan chop. Ah. I one-shotted the witch. I did level up, didn't I? Oh, that's right. The witch is on a zero percent try, in fact. I would not have bothered Oh well. Let's get at least most of my archers boosted. All but slain? Or all but Kazin? Yeah, all but Kazin. No, 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 That's okay. We're going to stay back a bit. And get healed by your alter ego. Oh. Really need to come up with something better to talk about while I'm doing this. So these guys are scary. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Bowie is in range. Which is kind of where I want them. Dang it. Hoping to draw them up. Okay. Range check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as long as I'm on the stairs, I'm okay. Mm, evil cloud. Your range is five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm fine. Peter anyway. Okay. Your range is five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Trying to find here. 
It's basically I want Bowie to get blasted. Exactly atypical for Bowie. Go ahead and kill Jaha and support him. Because I'm probably not going to need that many more heals left. Down. You're not, yeah, you're in guard duty basically. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I shouldn't really get too much closer. Lots of things with blasts, radius, two, three, four. Uh, Sarah is within attack range also. with anybody this turn. Oh, there's Kiwi's last heal. Maybe I used that heal preempt er, that early heal a little too early. Then can't attack. Just like that. Fully in the way. Yes! Go ahead and attack Kiwi. Do your one point of damage. Peter. He's normally Kiwi at this point. Alright, I will attack you above. Funk. Luckily they have crap for defense. Not going to use my mage on this, just no. Slade on the other hand I could totally use for this. Because flying things are weak against arrows. Yep, Slade level up. Attack, defense, agility, HP. The standard set. Okay, so these both. Oh, you're six. You're five. Five, six. You're just gonna stay off to the side. There we go. I finally triggered him. Okay, unfortunately, this is not a great corridor for me. But it's also not great for that death monk. I should have moved further over. Because Kazin had more range. That's okay. May fire. Okay. May is 14 now. Okay. I should equip that power ring on somebody else. May is a little too strong now. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can attack pretty much anybody. I'm concerned about that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You're going to just hang out there. Let's make sure people don't die, okay? Oh crap, I should have thrown him in the front and hit all three of them. Ah, well. I'm probably not going to lose. You're still injured.
So, in theory, I could just stand here and make sure that the archer only attacks Sarah. However, that's a land effect zero spot, and this guy's nasty. Sarah would probably die from that. That's not worth it. I can move up and attack, but then all this guy's gonna do is back up one and attack. That's probably not worth it. Healing. Healing is an option. Well, I wanted to use up those medical herbs. I guess now is a good time to do so. Come down and attack my mage. I think you're okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Oof. And now you're going to die. Kiwi, you can't do anything. Chester, start firing against the Death Archer. Death Archer's become normal on minis as well, for reference. You are now level 14. Good job. Slave, fire against the Death Archer. So the only one who's not level 14 is Kazin. I would really, really like to have the... Death Archer be killed by Kazin. In fact, so much so that I am going to boost Kazin's power instead of attacking. I may need to repair the ring though. The only downside. Did not crack. I'm good. Yep, I was correct. I mean, you're probably not going to kill it, unfortunately. No. I take that back! Good job, Kazin. Hopefully that means you're now level 13. Yes, good. HP, attack, defense, agility, everything by one as usual. How can you defeat devils? They looked human to me, but whatever. Ah, you have the jewel of evil around your neck. It's you, Bowie. We've been waiting for you. Bowie, did you hear that? He said he had been waiting for you. Why do the devils want you? And I'm in control, and I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, because it's been an hour. Well, I'll go to the church first, but... Oh. I guess I have to go through the sequence first. Though. But it was only for Birdman! Don't be so uppity! Ooh, you're... Sir Peter! Sorry, Sir Peter! Welcome back. Welcome to the Flying guard. Did something happen? Well, the devils invaded recently, you know, as you do. Devils? Yes, the devil army. Strong, greater devils broke Vulcanon's sacred barrier. But don't worry, Vulcanon defeated all the devils. It's fine. The devils we fought must have been part of that army. You met some other devils? <laughs> Stop, stop! Where did you feed them? Uh, that's great, but uh, we'll go and make sure. Just the case. We'll go to Bulkin Village Patrol. Peter, please see King Beto. Yeah. <laughs> nice attempt at making three difference. Well, before I do anything, I need to walk over here a bit. It's after. It must be after. Hmm. Okay. Let's fit over on this side. Nope. Okay. I will come back later to that. Anyway, this is Beto Village. It is an aviary. I'm going to do the investigation of the village later. I'm just going to go to a priest and save. At least I'm pretty sure there's priests here. Weapon shop, under shop, there's a priest. Okay. Welcome. Your desire will be filled. My desire is for Peter to suck less. I don't think that desire is going to be filled. Alright, well, that was a double battle episode. I hope you enjoyed it. 
And let me save state for save int. And I will talk to you next time. Goodbye.